Hello everybody and welcome to a new Game Boy Let's Play. Mario's Picross for uh, the Game Boy Super Game Boy is actually what I'm playing this on. And if you see that name down there, 1995 Ape Incorporated, you may know Ape as the people that developed the Mother Games, also known as Earthbound in America. So, I don't know how many of you played this game, but I'm going to show you the how-to section of the game. Hi kids, it's time for us to solve the mystery of Picross. Picross is short for Picture Crossword. Mystery lies in the numbers on the top and the left side of the window. Okay. There's Spelunker Mario up there. Which together will help you draw the secret picture. If you solve the puzzle correctly, I have beaten this game before. I had this game on the the Game Boy, and I loved it. If you solve the puzzle correctly, the entire picture will show. It's the letter N. Here are the rules of solving the mystery. The number above the column tells you how many boxes you need to chisel in a downward direction. <clears throat> this one's a five, so you will need to chisel five consecutive blocks. numbers on the left of the rows tell you how many boxes you need to chisel in the left or right direction. This one's a 3 and a 1. So you will need to chisel in 3 consecutive boxes and 1 single box separated by at least 1 space. If you do not solve the secret puzzle in 30 minutes, the Game Boy explodes. Then your game is over. If you make a mistake, then you, your remaining time will be reduced. But try not to panic. You can mark boxes that you think should stay clear with an X. To get hints as you play, choose yes. On the with hint option at the beginning of the game, I will be playing with hints. When you start a new picture, top and left cursor will be moving. Yes. The A button to stop the cursors. Press it again to stop the left cursor. Then the answers for that combination will be shown. Good luck! Alright, and that's how you play Picross. And Picross is a nonogram type puzzle game, which is named after Non Ishida. A Japanese graphics editor. Let's try this one. Yes, I do want to try this one. Oh, I have to push the button again. I forgot. Okay, five down. Five to the right. We win. Very good. It's a letter L. Yay! We know letters. It doesn't show what you do. Um... In other versions of the game, it shows a picture at the top of the screen of what it was. Maybe this one will do it later on? I don't know. Okay, we have five here, five here, and the C, and the E, and four. So, L, E. Very good, it's the letter E. Let's see what the next one is. Let's try this one. Sure, why not? I can't imagine how hard that's going to be. L-E-T. I think it's going to spell Let's Play. That would be awesome, because there's just enough spaces for that word. Sure. Give me a hint. Alright. there can. Uh, this is where the complication of the game comes in. See, there's three here, and up at the top it says two and one. So the block could either be here or here, but since there's a 5 to the left, it has to be right here. So I'm going to put a block there to let me know not to chisel that. 1, 2, 1, 3, and 4. Let's! Okay, we've almost, we've almost spelled Let's Play. If it's Let's Play, I'm going to be very happy.
Let's try this one. Okay. Five. And, uh, three. Can't be here or here. Can't be here. Can't be here, so it needs to be here. Four and four. That is not a P. I disapprove. So let's W. Let's win, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Two here, two here, two here. One here. Has to be at least a space there. This has to be five. Two, three. And... Can't be this, this, or this, so... Right here. Let's... Whoa! Let's work? What? And this game does get more difficult, I promise. Alright. Five, five, four, four, two, one, one. Really? Let's war. Well, I guess he is, he is a, uh, an archaeologist, is that the term? Hooray memory. Five here, four here, four here, two here, two here. Really? Let's work. Okay. Well, I'm going to pretend it says let's play. Because I like that better. So what I'm going to be doing is playing for about 10 or 15 minutes in each video. And however many puzzles I solve, that's how many I'm going to be doing. So right here... If you look, the number right there is a 4, and there's a 5 and a 6, and you can't fit those in here. And this is also the first block next to an X, so I know that the 4 is going to be here, the 5 is going to be here, and the 6 is going to be here. 2, 3, 4, see there's a stop there, and this, it's 4 in this column. And I really don't know how to better explain this game, I just know how to play it so well that I do it. So these, there's already a 1 chiseled there, 5 and 1, so that's done. There's already a 3 in this column, and this column, so it can't be anything there. So 5's right here, and there we go! My wife watches me play this game sometimes and she just gives me a funny look, like how in the world are you doing that? And here we have a note! A musical note. Dun, dun. Actually, I'm going to change the music. There are different kinds of music in the game, and this music is kind of depressing to me. So, background music. Let's try this one for a little bit. Okay. So, there can't be a 4 here. And this... Let's just pretend these are chiseled. This is the farthest I can go, and that potentially be 6. So there can't be a four here. Two, three, four. All right. <clears throat> and hopefully this Let's Play will get some of you to go out and play these games. This isn't the only <clears throat> this isn't the only pick cross game out there. All right. This is a four. That's a two. So we know that we've already gotten that whole column. There can't be a two there. Okay. These two have to be connected because there's only one number over there. So that was that's seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Can't be anything there. So this, since this is four, there can at least be blocks here and here. And you can't have a two or a four over there. That's already right. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's already four. So five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. So that one's done. And there has to be four here. And four here. And two here. So, it looks like a diamond. <clears throat> and one thing that's uh, weird to me is that when my wife looks at these puzzles, she sees a potential picture. 
and I don't. I'm just looking at the mathematics of it. I don't see the picture until I'm done chiseling the whole thing out because I don't want to assume the picture is one thing and then go back and uh, assume something and, and end up chiseling the wrong thing out. So I just look at the numbers and try to solve it based on the numbers. And this is 10 wide, that's why I know that these have to be chiseled all the way up. And that's a 3. So I just work it systematically. If I, I Sometimes on the hardier puzzles I'll go line by line uh, and see if there's any discrepancies anywhere and then I'll, I'll do it uh, top to bottom and then I'll do it left to right. Or just however, however I end up doing it. There's 4... So, 6 and 1, so it can't be this, and this is 6 wide, so that has to be the 6. There has to be at least a space, see there's a 1 up there below the 6, so this can't go any higher because the 1's on the bottom. And this is a 2, and there can't it can't go any higher, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This has to be 2 wide, this has to be 4 wide, so this appears to be a symmetrical picture. So there needs to be a 5 here, and these are too wide, so there we go. A spade. So I'm going to take a wild guess and assume that the next one is going to be a heart or club, perhaps? Good. I like it when it doesn't hit the lines that I know it's not a... Uh, that I know how to solve. Alright, so since there's a space here and there has to be a 3, both of the 3's can't be on this side, so I can assume that this block needs to be chiseled and these two blocks, but I don't know for certain with this one and this one. <clears throat> it could be either one of those. Since there's only a 4 here, it can either be that one or that one. And this is seven, and it starts up at the top. So the little bar, the little line in the middle there, that's five. There's a line every five, every five blocks. Okay, so I know this can be chiseled, and I know this has to be a gap because I can't connect those and make it two. So this has to be part of seven, and this has to be part of two. So I know this isn't the right block. This is. And then that's a 5, so I can assume those two need to be chiseled because of the 3. <clears throat> and I can go down that far. Let's see. This is an 8. 8. 9. 9. And that one's done. 7. That music's so weird. Alright, so this can't be one and this can't be one. How many is that? Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay, this has to be a two and this has to be connected, so that's that's eight. And this has to be a three. So that's six. This is four. This is two. And since it looks to be a symmetrical picture, I can go ahead and chisel the rest of those. And it is a heart. And I think we have a, uh, well, we can stop there. That's, that's an even number. So let me know what you think of Picross and if you've played the game before. And thanks for watching this video, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.